and welcome to another Jolly Giant Veg. I'm at the unit. Um, I'm just going to show you a couple of bits and bobs I've got going on at the shop. Uh, where do I start? I'll start with the onions. I know that I've uh, had a bit of bother with the, the big onions. And uh, that they're split in half. We're split in two, sorry. That's a couple of them on the left here. I'll show you them now. As you can see. Put my hand in there, sorry. Cover up my hand. I measured this and it's just under 18 inches around that onion um, but as you can see here it's split into two so that's no good same with the back onion um, I'm thinking that this one here is also split in two but we'll see uh, and this one is looking all right for the moment I need to get some more support sorted out for that and um, but currently this one is looking like it's all right the giant leeks as you can see they are absolutely superb, nice and healthy. I've um, been lucky enough. I've been lucky enough to be given some products by a company called Shield. Uh, I'll show you those in a minute, and I've been using those on these uh, these leaks and my other leaks on my other system. I've had a bit of a problem with some uh, fungus gnats. They've uh, they've been all over, and I didn't know what to do for to try and get rid of them because obviously. There's a bit of moisture in the pots as I'm watering and I can't break the cycle sort of thing. So luckily um, a company called Shield has the solution which I'll show you in a moment. But yeah, the, um, as you can see these, these leaks are doing absolutely class now. They're about 11, I think 11 and a half inches around. And uh, they're looking really healthy. As you can see the, the flags are all lovely, healthy, clean. I've been using the shield back off um, and plant wash on these. You'll see also all these diamond things in the bottom. This is a deterrent for the, the fungus gnats, but I'll show you a bit more of that in a minute. I've finally got the alien system set up. Um, it's a bubbler system. So inside each is an air stone. And I've got four giant uh, tomatoes growing in here. They're starting to, I think they're starting to push out roots now. I'll have a look. Yeah, as you can see, there's a couple of little roots. They're starting to push the roots out there now. So hopefully they'll start flying along. I've got uh, added nano from the company Nano uh, Hydroponics in there, which won't do them any harm at all, which will keep them going solid and give them all that added. Uh, silicon and iron which I believe is deficient in all plants uh, my other leaks here I've got in a Wilma system I'm just going to show you now this is the system that I was having problem with the fungus gnats they're all over the place constantly and well I just couldn't get rid of them basically didn't know what to use so I'll show, I'll show you this was the trap. I had sticky traps in there anyway. But this was the sticky trap I had. One of the old fashioned ones, you know, as you pull down. And as you can see, it was absolutely covered in the fungus gnats. There was hundreds of them constantly all over. But since I've been using this neem oil, if you can see the crystals, that's neem oil. I've got sticky traps here. I changed these sticky traps yesterday. Eh, sorry, no. When was it? Saturday. It is now Tuesday. There is no gnats on them at all. None. So it must be working. I'm um, getting rid of the fungus gnats, this neem oil. At the back there, I've got a, a shield diffuser. And I'll tell you more a bit about that shortly but these are the the products here and um, the neem oil gel and that's what these like crystals are what you top dress your plants with this is the the plant wash I've been using on my leeks and um, which I think has been making them really um healthy and clean as you've seen there I'm hoping hoping to get a best leaking show this year at my local show and I, I think it's pretty hard to get that unless you've got all the conditions spot on and you're using 
something decent to help control the pest so I'm using the shield back off and the shield plant wash in in this one here this red one that is the diffuser gel which is that item at the back there the diffuser I'll show you what I mean by uh, the shield diffuser I've got some information here the instruction manual so basically this is it here it releases natural oils and uh, into the air and kills the airborne bacteria removes odors and freshens the air it's simple simple to put the oil in turn it on with batteries in it's self-explanatory yeah uh, yeah so the fungus snap problem looks like we're on top of that thank you very much i would like to thank uh, harry johnson for uh, being so kind for to give me this stuff uh, for the use on my leaks it's very kind of you harry thank you very much i appreciate it i can't uh, recommend it enough from first glances i haven't had it very long but it seems to be doing the trick straight away haven't had any issues so far uh, the plant wash is seems really good as well i've been using it on the the flags on my leaks and it, like i say it's been keeping them really clean uh, and the same with the back off there's no thrip or anything but i don't think i had thrip on my leaks anyway to uh, begin with so i don't think that was an issue but that that neem oil gel um which i've top dressed has sorted the fungus gnat problem out i can't see any flying around there's no more on any of those uh, sticky stickers which there normally would be so yeah that seems to be doing the trick spot on i'm over the moon with that i'll show you again me me big leaks because i'm loving them at the minute that they've just had a feed today but uh, they're flying along now nice and healthy the flags are lovely and really good condition the bigger brother at the back there um here i've got some giant carrots which are due to be planted in the final big pot soon and i've got a little something up my sleeve um as far as a long root, long root veg is concerned so i'm going to have a go at that i'm going to go down to the hardware store tonight uh the hardware shop sorry not store where i'm living in america um and get a couple of bits and bobs and i'm going to have a go at growing some long root veg for my local show to see if i can beat the lad who always wins it every year so yeah thanks for watching it's a quick round up here um i'll st i think I'll be back down the allotment in the next couple of days. I've got lots going on down there. And I'll be able to show you another video of what I've been doing down there. My cabbages and my onions and all sorts of stuff like that. So thanks for watching. Um, please like, subscribe, do all that jazz. If you like what you see, comment. If you want any answers, let us know. And oh, another thing. The Nano, which I've been talking on about for the past however many months, is now available to buy. Um, they're finally getting the packaging sorted out they're finally um, getting it all sorted out I believe it's in hydroponics shops now up and down the country and it will be available on our exhibition website within the next two weeks it'll be getting put up on there shortly anyway uh, on exhibitiongarden.com have a look on there and you will see uh, the nano is available if you would like to have a look and have a go of it it's cracking stuff like i say i did trials for it last year and my results with the the control the comparison what i did on my pepper plants were just uh, way above and beyond they were miles apart in uh, the root structure everything i just thought it was a fantastic additive there was no difference in my plants last year apart from nano and i did um two bubblers of each and like i say they were miles apart I, co I couldn't get over the fact of how good the with the added nano was doing so i can't recommend that highly enough it seems really good stuff but like the company says they'll do the signs they'll let the science do the marketing they won't market it themselves uh if it doesn't work then obviously it won't sell but they're they're uh, they're loving it at the moment because a lot of people up and down the country big growers are, are starting to use it and they I think if you're going to compete with some of these big growers and in the competitions they're using it you're going to have to get your hands on some and start using it as well because it really is going to be that good uh, 
anyway, I'll stop um, promoting other people's products. It seems like I've just done an advert for some uh, hydroponic companies there. They're not paying us, don't worry. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button. And you'll see any future videos of what's going on. I'll quickly show you up here what my marrow I grew, which won the Northeast Development and Garden Show. is still, still going strong. It's still got little bits of his green left, but he's looking a bit more camouflage now. But... Yeah, he's still going strong there, me marrow, from last from last year, from last August. I'll show you a picture of it when it won. That's it there. Sorry about the glare. That's a picture of it when it won. So, <laughs> oh yes, I totally forgot. Sorry. In my little, my other little tent. I'll shut this door. Just letting some heat in. And the little funky tent I've got, which is like a mother plant tent, which I've been showing us about. Uh, I've started off some more seeds in there. Some cucumber, giant cucumber seeds. We'll see how they germinate and crack on in there. That little, tiny little cherry tomato tree uh, plant, sorry, is doing absolutely great. Under this LED light. It's loving it in there, nice and healthy. And I've also got 10 giant cucumbers started off in there. They're looking like they're starting to come through in places. I know there's one at the back there, so a few of them haven't germinated, but a few of them have. That's why I've started off. That's why I've started off some more. Um, because I need at least four. I'm gonna be growing. So yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again on the next one.